Hello Capricorns. This is your love reading for the week of, actually it's for the 23rd through the end of the month. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what energy, King of Cups I see right there. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy um, is significant for some of you. Somebody that really cares for you. They love you. Uh, but this person, I feel like, um, sometimes can be a little smothering to you. Let's see. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn. And we have the Ten of Swords energy. Hmm. Feeling stabbed in the back. Feeling betrayed. Like this person has done a lot of things that you really don't know if you can get over. You want to move past it. But you're you're struggling with getting over something right now, and that is Gemini's energy right there. And then we have the Four of Cups, trying not to think about it, trying not to um, let this like get you all in your feelings. You're really trying to be stable and not, um, you know, emotionally overreact two situations okay because I do feel like this is something from the past something that you've already dealt with but it keeps like coming up again and again and again um and so you're really trying to push your emotions down and really want to move past this this is cancer energy here with the four of cups <clears throat> okay and then the Page of Swords comes out. I'm going to put that up right, right there. Page of Swords um, really is not somebody that truly converses, okay? The Page of Swords does more, you know, of observing things than any other action. They sit back and they observe. And then they arrive at decisions or opinions by themselves. They don't actually talk things out with people. And so I feel like, you know, you're really trying to work through your emotions without involving someone else. You're just kind of like, um, almost like self therapy. I feel like it's going on here. <clears throat> Okay, and then you have a King of Wands here, this masculine energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy that's on the other side of you. I feel like this person can be kind of domineering, whoever this is, okay? They can get angry with you, like, very quickly, but then also feel, like, regretful, like, oh my God, why did I do that? I should not have, you know, done this feeling like they've lost something. So you have somebody that, um, you saw the King of Cups that flipped over initially. I do feel like this person can throw you off emotionally, depending on what their mood is. You know, if they're angry, then it like, it makes you kind of spiral out of control emotionally. But then when they show like remorse or regret, then it kind of like lures you back in. So, you know, there's like this emotional roller coaster that I feel like you guys have been on and you're really trying to stop that. Okay. Scorpio energy here. <clears throat> Then we have the Seven of Cups, very confused about your feelings, not really knowing um, what to do with your thoughts, with your feelings, with this person. So I do get this feeling of being overwhelmed. Again, that's Scorpio's energy there. Then you have the Eight of Swords, bless your heart, because um, this Ten of Swords, this Eight of Swords, it's like constantly thinking about, you know, what has happened before between you guys here constantly thinking about it not truly being able to move forward and move past it feeling really trapped so the only other recourse is to kind of just shut down to keep yourself from being so effect affected by what has happened between you and how this person reacts to you or doesn't react to you because I feel like sometimes this person can also ignore you Okay, 
So I'm definitely getting that you guys are going through something right now and really trying to like, you know, do some self therapy, talk, do some self talk to get you past these ruminating thoughts and try to figure out what it is that you truly want and need in your life because you do have this person here that I feel like you are so trying to turn your back on and move past there's somebody you're trying to move past I feel but it's hard and then we have the Four of Swords. This is all about trying to heal, again, this self-talk. Telling yourself that things can be different. That you have control of your situation. I feel like you guys are really trying to move past these hurt feelings. These feelings of betrayal. Feelings of, um, you know whatever has transpired bef before between you two in the past it's like you're trying to move past that become emotionally stable and not allow somebody else's mood swings to determine how you feel and i feel like that's where you're at <clears throat> Then we have a five of coins. I feel like this is somebody that um, either left on their own or you guys put out. For whatever reason, uh, this person is gone. Okay. Or was gone. This five of coins. Taurus energy there. And then we have a queen of wands. Again, that back and forth energy of being angry about something and then feeling remorseful about it and wanting to really take on that role of like caring for you, being there for you, you know, <clears throat> doing things for you, you know, just like being all in, very controlled one day and then being very emotional and nurturing the next day. Okay, so this person does have like feminine and masculine energy, but I think it fluctuates so much and it is, it's not the type of energy where, you know, this person has like true control over their reactions or over their emotions even it's just that um they can be very stubborn those emotions they can be very stubborn and then they can be overly like emotional feeling like whoa it's me so i mean you you get like there's those emotions that are like very positive um, of the masculine and feminine energy and then there can be those emotions that are not so positive of the masculine and feminine energy right very stubborn and control and in control one moment and then like over here then they can be um very like over the top like they, they're not taking any responsibility for what they've done even or they can feel like you can feel like they're just kind of smothering um, wanting to do everything for you one day you know with this feminine energy and in the masculine energy they like take everything away like if they were doing something for you then they just like when they get angry with you then they just take everything away right so you know I see at the end of this that well at the very beginning okay we're gonna call this like the recent past because here you are front and center here in the recent past you know all you could think about was things that have happened how this person betrayed you you know and it's you're surrounded by that here you're surrounded by nothing but swords nothing but thoughts and not really knowing what is best for you trying to figure that out but front and center here in the center of your reading was very important is the fact that you are wanting to move past this energy of being stuck in your head okay these ruminating thoughts self-therapy self-talking here 
and you have this person I feel like you're trying to establish a boundary with because you don't want to allow them to completely um, have control over if you're happy or not and I feel like that's where you are okay you just trying to figure things out on your own so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon